Hey guys, Brian here with Wolf's Prairie Outdoors. Today we're at the beautiful Clinton House Plantation and we're taking a look at my Henry X Model 3030. This one obviously looks a bit different than your standard. I sent it off to Jason Louthan of Louthan Gunworks and he modified it for me quite a bit. Tuned the action a little bit. It was already pretty smooth. He smoothed it up a little bit more and he cut it down from the 21 and a quarter inch barrel, I believe, to a 16 and a half and rethreaded it. And he Cerakoted the action and barrel and mag tube in OD green as well as the lever. I think it matches up really well. It fits my area really well because here in South Carolina, we've got some very dense green woods. This can make a great hunting rifle now and I think it flows really well with the green handguard and actually the green tripod now, but I just got it on here so I don't have to hold it the whole time I'm talking. But I wanna talk about the work done, what I've done with the gun and how hard I've run it, as well as the new range report precision adjustable buttstock. So the gun was in good shape out of the box. I sent it to Jason, like I said, he modified it and I instantly, had to go shoot it. I didn't get any time with it because I was going to do a class with Chris Costa, a one day tactical lever gun class or defensive lever gun class in Texas. And Jason was coming to the event and by the time he could ship it to me, I would have had to literally box it up and send it back out to Texas for the shoot. So I said, just bring it to the class when you come and I'll zero it day of and put hands on first time at the event. So that's what I did. And I had only put a few shots through it prior to that. And then getting to shoot it at the event was going to be a whole new ball game because it was completely different. And I gotta say, I was thoroughly impressed with the work he did. The action is slick as can be, it runs so smooth. And having it cut to 16 and a half, it really is a joy to shoot. I, uh, I, I like my guns a lot shorter, just easier to manage, especially in the thick woods around here. And guys, this thing runs like a champ. At that class, I ran a ton of ammo through it and I ran it hard. I was trying to see if it would fail because I had Jason right there if something happened. Hey, what can I do to fix this? You know, what's going on here? and I pushed it hard, zero issues, zero malfunctions. So kudos to Henry and to Jason for doing a phenomenal job on this gun. It runs great. And I would have no qualms about using this as a defensive gun. I know it has proven itself. It runs hard and runs great. Now next up, the other reason we're here, the Ranger Point Precision Adjustable Buttstock. A lot of guys have been asking about it. I wanted to get some time behind it before I gave you my opinion on it because it's a big investment. So as you can see, it is an open butt stock. You have the QD plate you can mount on here to mount a quiver on it. And it has a QD uh, hole in it as well up here. It's not your standard adjustable butt stock. There's not an adjustable cheek piece. So what they have is four screws, two here and two here. The heads are on the other side. I'll show you in a second. And you adjust those screws and the whole thing is gonna tilt up. And I'm gonna show you now just how easy that is, but I gotta spin the gun around. So the four screws on here are a 530 seconds Allen. And for those of you guys keeping up with what tools I'm using, I have switched away from Wheeler tools and I'm now using Real Avid. I found these bits to hold up a lot better and just the tools fit better in my hand. They're more comfortable, more ergonomic all around. And I like the spinny cap on top so that I can very easily spin and keep it rested against my palm. It's really handy. And I've got the, uh, the master set and it does a phenomenal job, covers all the bases I need. So all we do is loosen these four screws. I got them pretty snug because I don't want them coming loose during a course of fire. And now that it's loose, you very simply can adjust it wherever you want to get your proper eye alignment. Now all I gotta do is re-tighten. And that's all there is to it, guys. It adjusts extremely easily. And to be honest, I was kind of concerned at the beginning with those four screws holding all of this in place during a course of fire and during a heavy course of fire. You know, if I banged it around, is it gonna come loose? What's gonna happen? And I had zero issues with that. I tightened them down nice and snug. And during that match, I banged it around a bit. And within reason, I don't wanna tear my gun up, but I had no issues. It did not move and it has held perfectly solid right where I set it. Zero issues whatsoever, guys. So. I would have no issues going ahead and buying this for other guns. It's a very solid setup and it's completely different. If you're looking for something unique, this is it. It's definitely different from anything on the market. As far as other features on the stock, there's also a QD and a sling swivel as well as some M-lock slots on the bottom should you want to mount anything there. And there's a couple of screw holes on top for adding a cheek pad or something like that in the future. So overall guys, 
Gun has been phenomenal. I absolutely love it. So moving forward with this rifle, I am going to be doing some more testing like our defensive lever gun series. Check right up here if you haven't seen that. And I've got a variety of 30-30 ammo coming so that we can do some more testing on Boston butts, ballistics, gel, uh, you know, car doors, walls, the whole nine yards. I want to see what the other rounds will do. I want to expand on that series and do more with it with more calibers. So definitely check back for that. If you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and share us with your friends. Have a good one, guys.